What's up, internet? People, if I can shift. That's loud. So as you can tell by the title of the video, um, there's some major changes going on right now in my life. And, and it's not just with my car. Like, yeah, I've got a lot of cool stuff I'm doing in my car. I just got the wheels powder coated, which I'll show you in a second here if you haven't already seen it on Instagram. Believe it or not, like, I, I personally enjoyed the gold wheels when the car was just all gray, especially when the car was, like, freshly cleaned. It looked really, really good. But now, with the red and the gray wrap, it just, it looks too Iron Man-y and, and McDonald's-y. Uh, so I, I just felt like I needed to change it, you know, I kind of let the peer pressure set in a lot of the comments really kind of got to me And I, I think that's one of the main reasons why I did change the color of the wheels is it's because a lot of the peer pressure got to me on, on the wheels It's kind of hard doing things outside of what people consider normal And you know, it's kind of like if you're not really a part of that standard you, you get you get looked at in a weird way And I enjoy doing things differently um, But it got to the point where I was just like I gave in <clears throat> I let the comments get to me and that's kind of what this video is talking about too. Whether you guys may have noticed it or not, I was, I've was i actually been in kind of a weird slump. I don't want to call it a depression because I, don't, I, I still don't think that I know what depression is, but I've been in a really weird place for the past couple of months, like actually since last year, and it, it just kind of took me to now to figure it out. I, uh, I stopped going to the gym. I stopped working out, I stopped doing a lot of the things. I, I really didn't put as much effort into my videos. It was just like, upload a video, okay. I'd read these comments and like, you know, the lesbian jokes and stuff like that were fine for a while. I, I thought they're funny. Like it's, it's still kind of like a funny thing, but you know, I started letting the comments get to me and I started feeling kind of really down about myself and I, I let myself go and I just stopped reading comments. It was really bad to the point where I, I just couldn't enjoy doing what I do. And I considered stopping YouTube for a while, right? I considered kind of like dropping it all together. And I didn't really talk about this with anybody. It was just one of those things where it was like, you know, I think I'm done. It was like one of those, like, I think I'm done type of deals. I was getting ready to call it quits, throw in the towel. I really in a slump. It was getting really, hard to tell at one point or another uh, whether or not you know, the comments were like jokingly funny like the lesbian comments are obviously a consistent joke on my channel and, and that's fine you know whatever and it's not so much that I'm upset about the lesbian comments is that I'm, I'm more or less bored with them just because they're, they're so consistent it's like I kind of wish something new would happen you know I was really struggling to figure out if you know people were being supportive like it, it generally seems like most people are being supportive you know I don't need validation that I'm doing stuff and I'm doing good things but it's nice every now and again and it felt like I couldn't I couldn't really make anybody happy it's like no matter what I did it it, it just like I made like three or four decisions back to back that seemed to just like bother everyone and it I think a lot of it started with the uh, the first Harley build series when I first started it the negativity that was behind that build was ridiculous you know it was like so many people really really wanted to see me fail on it and it started to get to me and i thought that once that that build was over and that everyone saw how cool it turned out that that would kind of go away you know the kind of need for like validation is like hey you're doing good kid <laughs> you know i was like i figured that once that was done everything was gonna be good and it felt like it was like oh yeah that's cool but you're still a faggot you know is, is how it felt and I was like, ah, damn, man, I can't seem to make anybody happy. And it was, it was really, it was really getting hard to tell who was rooting for me and who wasn't. I know there's always been people since I want to say the GoFundMe thing that happened a couple years ago with the Magna, that there's always been people who who've been dedicated to just disliking my videos and leaving mean comments. It's anywhere between 50 to 100 people who purposely follow me just to be dicks on the channel. That's fine, and that doesn't really bother me. If if you have haters that are consistent then you're doing something right, at least. You know, someone goes out of their way, someone dislikes you so much that they're willing to go out of their way and spend their time in to say mean things about you, that's fine. I, I feel like that's a win. But it was starting to get really to the point where it felt like everyone was like that, you know? Self-depreciating humor is kind of how I built my channel. I don't ever like to come across as like overly cocky. I don't like to come across as like, uh, some dude who's full of himself. I really, really try to keep a mellow head, I guess. You know, every now and again, you guys put me in check. If I if I go overboard, you guys put me in check. But I always try to, you know, I'm, I'm just a regular dude, and I try to make that as apparent as possible when I meet people. I've had people send me messages saying they look up to me and they want to be like me, and I'm like, dude, there's times in my life where I don't even want to be like me. 
But that brings me to my point is that I was struggling a lot with the comments. And in Tampa, Florida, when I went down and hung out with 50 Cal Val and Mark Serbu, I was probably at like my lowest point that I'd been in a while. I want to say I was like 210 pounds. In this video that I made, I must have been two, I was 210, 215, somewhere around there. Really just out of shape. I hadn't been to the gym in, in months at this point in time. At least not consistently. I started working out at home. The schedule was all messed up and my, my workouts were terrible and my workout, like, and my eating habit habits were worse. I didn't really put two and two together until I came home and I started editing the videos and I didn't even want to put them together because just looking at myself from the outside perspective when someone else was recording me, I was just disgusted with myself. And and it's been it's been five or six years since I've been like that. Five or six years, I've been relatively healthy. I've worked out a lot. Like when I was in high school, I was way out of shape. I was fat. And then I got to college and I started working out healthy and regularly. And here's something I don't like to admit, but, but when I first uh, started really hardcore working out, I took steroids. The results were awesome, right? Like I, I gained, I was like 210 pounds in this photo and I was really strong and I was fit. Everything was great and then I cycled off of them and I got, you know, really out of it. And I haven't felt like that in years. And then going back and looking at the video of me in Tampa, just so out of shape and unhappy with myself, I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta fix this. I think a big part of it was mentally trying to figure out what was wrong. And I think it was that I was letting the hate comments get to me too much. And it's hard not to sometimes with the way YouTube is. And I realized it was probably because I was perpetuating the type of comments, you know, with the whole like telling people to kill themselves and uh, you know, like fuck you. And, and I was only responding to the negative comments because it was fun to me at the time. And now I realize that I was just perpetuating the, the terrible comments and I, I don't want to do that on my channel anymore. So I got back from Tampa and I started really kind of working out a little bit more not much it was like one of those things where it's like maybe I need to do this you know and then I went to Texas in Texas close friend of mine Modernosity we were sitting there talking and I don't think he knows this how much it affected me at the time but he just looked at me and said dude what happened you were so much more in shape last time we met and I was like oh fuck dude and like hearing that from a close friend like Modernosity and this isn't a negative thing uh, this is actually a very positive thing, but hearing, hearing something like that from a close friend kind of makes you, it, it's one thing to hear like, hey, you're fat from the comments or you're putting on weight. It's like, it's like whatever, you know, it's YouTube. I, I get people who tell me to kill myself regularly. That's fine. But when it's, it's a close friend of yours, like Modernasi and I are, are good friends. And once I heard it from him, I was like, fuck, I really need to fix this. So I, I started working out again. I haven't missed the gym except when I've been out of town, like when I was at um, the suppressor shootout. That's the first time I'd missed miss the gym in, in weeks. Since I came back from Texas, I've been, I've completely changed my eating habits. I've completely changed the way I've been working out. And I've been trying to change the way I react to comments and read things. And it's kind of hard, but I felt like this, that's kind of why I need to make this video is to kind of get back on track. I'm pretty happy to say that I'm feeling a lot better, but when I was in Tampa, I was around 215 pounds, 210, 215 pounds. And as of today, I'm down to 193, which is pretty, pretty good weight loss for just a couple of weeks, you know? And I'm really happy with that, but I'm, I'm not anywhere near where I wanna be. It started out as me wanting to lose weight for this cruise that's coming up, where I get to meet a bunch of you dickheads. And, and now it's kind of turned out to one of those things like, I need to do this. I appreciate all the supporting comments, but I feel like I've talked about everything I kinda needed to talk about. I'm happy with my progress. So I need to go in the gym real quick, do that. I'm starting to like really tingle because of the pre-workout. So I'm about to go do that. And when we get back, we're gonna look at the wheels. All right, here it is. Skins Atlanta did a really, really good job with the wrap. The, the camera never seems to do this color justice, but if I get right up on it, the car's really dirty right now too, so forgive me. But it's like, God, it's like a nice f sparkly flake to it, man, it's beautiful. People always ask why I didn't uh, wrap the back, and that's, it's like a pretty common Corvette thing. 
to not wrap the back. Most people just do it black though, and I, I was like, well, you know, I want to keep some of the original gray because I like the gray. But it really, it really matches well with the red. And the hood is, it's not just the hood that's wrapped. It actually follows this front line of the, uh, of the whole car. So I'm doing the, uh, the black hash marks that I always do on all my cars. I'm blacking out the front grille. And uh, I'm trying to work on getting an aero kit for it right now. There's a couple of other things I want to do to this car. I'm either going to go with this, the uh, Z06 spoiler, the uh, Billwick or whatever it's called. It's got the little fins that stick up in the back. It's a little bit more aggressive. Or I'm going to go with the big wing. I like that GTC 500 that uh, APR makes. I also want to do a full aero kit on the bottom of it where I get like a front splitter and the side skirts. And everyone tells me to lower it, but dude, like these are already, the, believe it or not, the car is already lowered on its its own springs. You can actually uh, use these little turning bolts that lower the car about, it lowers it about an inch in the front and an inch and a quarter in the rear. And they're, they're not even all the way down. But the reason I don't want to go all the way down is because the rear already rubs on the inside of the, on the inside of the, the well. Um, going over bumps, it'll start to cut the tire, and I don't want to blow out these fenders. These are fiberglass, not metal, so I can't roll them. If uh, if that gives you an idea of how much that tire sticks out, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty aggressive for the stock C7. You know, I hope I hope that explains why I'm not going to lower it anymore. What was that? About 12 inches right there. That's about 12 inches right there. But I've got some white tire letters that are on the way. They should be here today. I might be able to put them on before this video goes up. So we'll see about that. <clears throat> and uh, police have showed up, but she didn't seem to really care. Just taking photos. What a nice officer. She didn't give a shit. I see cops here all the time. I wonder what they're doing. I wonder if they're just taking a nap or if they're doing paperwork or just... I, I have no idea. I know every word to that song. I always wonder, like, how do I know all the words to this song? But then I realize I listen to the same song on repeat for, like, ever until I hate the song. Watch this. Hey, Alexa. Volume two. Awesome, right? Speaking of decisions that make people kind of upset, I got some new handlebars for the Magna. The Roland Sands bars, these are actually the original handlebars that I was gonna go with when I rebuilt the Magna, but at the time I was a broke college student and I couldn't afford them, because these are like 160, 170 bucks, and I really dig them. We're gonna try to set them all up today. They're a little bit taller and the risers are a little bit shorter, so maybe I need a new clutch lever. So maybe I need new clutch cables and throttle cables, but hopefully not. Yes, look what finally showed up! My new custom plate, 30 roll. Two people in Texas had 40 roll, so I figured, hey, 30 roll, that's still first gear for me. And uh, with the R888s, I can actually hook him first almost, so uh, 30 roll. And I know a lot of people are asking about the, the stickers. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I do like I do like the Baker X Derek and the R9s. Evo did this against my will, but, but I like the new bars. They sit well. They're really easy on my arms, and I'm not as hunched over as much. It's much more comfortable to ride on now. I just need to wait for the uh, the new grip and the new uh, bar and mirror to show up. And I've just got one more thing to put on, and that's my tire letters. I've been waiting for these for a while. It's Mr. Rogers holding an AK saying riots. Not in my neighborhood, you know, in case you guys can't read for whatever reason. Oh, and Jax has been in the garage all day with me. So, uh, next we're going to be putting the tire stickers on. Uh, just basically they go along the edge of the tire and they have letters and stuff. It looks pretty cool. They want, you to add, they want you to use acetone to clean the tires off, get all the goo and, and junk off the tires first. So uh, I've actually just kind of put some tape around the lip of the, of the wheel here. That way it doesn't get any on the powder coat. Acetone will destroy powder coat just like it will anything else. So you just gotta be really careful. I'm just gonna use acetone to clean it up real quick. The top is done with this side. Then do the bottom, and then do it three more times all together. Oh yeah. That's made a huge difference. I love the way that looks. That looks awesome. See the front are uh, T 
T1Ls or LT1, something like that, and the rear are triple eights. And these these weren't really hard to put on; they were just time consuming because you had to clean off the surface and lay down all the rubber. Some spots I had to touch up here and there just by peeling back the edges and put more glue on. You basically just super glue them on. I couldn't be happier with those. Those look awesome. Remember to check out the description for some uh, HD photos.